All right, we're about to hit the best espresso bar in New York, quite literally. At least what we found, it's called Zibeto. So we'll put this on YouTube. I won't get any business from it because it just doesn't work that way. But here's the thing, right? Here's Sophie. Hey, Mickey. Here's the thing, this place is always dead, right? Yet. Well, it's not really dead. Ah, oh, it's always dead. Not where we go. Let's have a look. The reason why it's always dead, I think in my mind, a couple of reasons, right? Is, um, we'll do a thing inside now. But here's the thing, if you look around, there's always work at the front. All these roadworks and shit, right? This will be affecting their business for sure. But there's another reason I think, as this. The coffee's so bloody good that I don't think the Americans, no offence, even know what good coffee is. So the marketing lesson here in my mind is sell what your people want. And these guys here sell such great coffee that I think people aren't actually ready to drink it. That's my opinion. Um, anyway, we'll do another video on the inside and you can see how good this thing is. Uh, this place is always dead, like there's no one in here right now and it's Sunday. Uh, and the most we've seen in here is probably five or seven people at once. So. And the location that we're at. And the location, what location's that? Well, we're, we're just around the corner from Wall Street. Oh yeah, this is this Lower is Manhattan. Fulton, this is Fulton Street, it's quite busy. you got um, Seaport just down here. Whatever that means. What does that mean, babe? Well, well it's a whole host of uh, shops. Right. Um, bars, shops, discounted places. Uh, a lot of lot of traffic goes. This area is pretty hustling. Like there's people around here. Today's quiet because it's Sunday. But these guys don't do much for a business. But let's do a thing on the inside. 